hey loves welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to talk about things we can all learn from the covid19 aka coronavirus uh, pandemic like ever since this was declared a pandemic there's so much i've been learning like just by observing from people listening to news and reading articles about this virus and so i've uh, gathered a few things we can learn just so we are uh, prepared better next time in case there's another pandemic so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and uh, list all the things i want to talk about in this video the first one being that we all cope in different ways uh, for some creating content like this uh, helps keep their mind at ease for some reading some sleeping or exercising so it's really important to realize that we are different people and we shouldn't be going around telling people you shouldn't panic you shouldn't be doing this you shouldn't be doing that but as long as we act in ways that are not gonna harm anybody just know that we all cope in different ways and like we all have the right to express ourselves however way we want to okay. secondly we can all learn from past pandemics um, I read some articles that spoke about how uh, the SARS pandemic that happened a few years ago uh, ultimately prepared some Asian countries for the coronavirus, like how they developed uh, better care healthcare systems and how just how they they were prepared for a pandemic like this like they had better health care they had way many like way too many spaces to accommodate people who got sick and as we can see the situation is getting relatively better in china and singapore taiwan countries like that so yeah preparing earlier ahead of time uh, really helps like they say make hay while the sun shines I guess I think that's how it goes yeah make hay while the sun shines the third thing I want to speak about is how transparency is key in a situation like this we should all be informed we should be like we should all be given the rightful information at the rightful time um, I hear a lot of people in my country Botswana like so many people are complaining that the government is keeping things from them and I honestly understand where this is coming from i don't know if that's actually the case because i'm not there to observe the situation myself but people are complaining that there there are things being hidden from them and this doesn't make like it doesn't help the situation anyhow because people are just gonna continue doing what they do despite the situation getting worse so i think it is a responsibility of a country to be as transparent as possible if you have uh, a, an increase in cases tell the people so that they practice more caution if you have um, if there's an improvement tell the people and give them hope give them something to look forward to the next day yeah so transparency remember transparency is key another interesting article I read was how countries like Sing Singapore Hong Kong and um, Taiwan how these countries implemented travel bans from people from mainland China and this ultimately helped them in the end record relatively lower cases as compared to uh, when it as compared to if they had not imposed travel bans and like the World Health Organization didn't really encourage people to uh, implement travel bans like encourage governments to implement travel bans but these countries went ahead and imposed travel bans from those people who came from the main mainland and this uh, kind of helped them record lower cases than uh, could have happened in this article it said and I quote by February the 1st Taiwan Hong Kong and Singapore had already proactively implemented travel restrictions on passengers coming from the mainland, contravening the World Health Organization's insistence that travel bans were not necessary. So you can see like uh, uh, following your instincts, acting quickly and just being proactive when a situation like this happens, it's really helpful and we should all be learn how to uh, like trust our instincts. The final lesson I took from this situation is that the uh, teamwork makes the dream work. Um, as countries are working together towards 
finding a solution for all of this. Uh, we are slowly but surely getting to a point where we will say maybe in a few months have a cure for the virus and maybe even ha have it like completely eradicated so working in teams instead of working individually let's say like imagine if the US, China and all of those decided to work independently this was not gonna work at all because um, it, was, it would be time consuming and there would be a whole lot of things that other countries are missing that others are finding and then like it's just a whole mess but working together as a whole it really improves like it really helps us find solutions to problems way sooner than expected so yeah um a good example is how the african continent uh took this whole situation and acted quickly uh like before they recorded a whole lot of cases um I know like in Southern Africa, most countries closed down their borders as soon as they heard that uh, most cases were being recorded in South most cases were being recorded in South Africa. So this is a really good thing that like how our leaders are just um, trying by all means to contain the situation and just um, yeah honestly, I hope and pray that the situation gets better really soon because it's honestly sad to see people losing their lives to this coronavirus so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i'm i certainly do hope that you guys take caution heed advice from professionals and just stay home uh take caution wash your hands do all of that and make sure you are safe guys we want to see everybody at the end of this whole thing so yeah with that being said I will see you guys in my next video.